What's up guys? Welcome back to another So Your Wife Wants You To. Today, I, can't, I don't know if you can see me because it's really sunny out, but we are splitting rails. I wanted to show you just really quick the tools that I use to split rails. If you have a big, long log like I do, I'll show you here in a second, but um, you can actually take some really cool wedge tools and splitting mulls and uh, uh, sludge hammers and split rails to make like a fence or something. So. Check it out. I'm gonna show you my tools here though that I use. So here's the log. You can see I've already kind of gone through it and I was like really wondering whether or not I wanted to make a video because I can't really see anything out here in the sunshine, but I figured I'd go ahead and make one just show you guys. That's really tight in there. Let's, let's uh, whack it out. But this is a, I don't even know what it's called, but some kind of a wedge. Probably weighs about five pounds. You can see how it's made. And basically you just put it into the, you start off right here where the log is in the center and see all the little ridges on it and it splits that log into several spots and then you just kind of work your way down. So I started to work my way down here and I'll put it like right there with two hands instead of holding the phone, but you just pound it in, and as you pound it, you can see that crack. See that crack starting to form. So that's a wedge. This, people might say, oh, that's an axe. It's not really an axe. Axes won't have that those little side wedges on them. This is actually called a splitting maul, and it's meant for splitting wood. You can split little pieces of wood for firewood, or you can split uh, you know long logs like this and also that end of it is for hitting with a sledgehammer so the last tool that I'm going to show you and it's pretty obvious the old sledgehammer BFH they sometimes call it a BFH I won't say it on this channel because we don't cuss on this channel but it's a BFH and uh, that's about it so yeah you can use this for splitting rails for like a garden edge or if you want to make a split rail fence you've seen those out in the country that's how they do it you just kind of go along and split it on down lengthwise so uh that's all just want to give you a little education today on this beautiful february day this is unseasonably warm so i'm out here working um if you like these kind of videos uh go ahead and hit subscribe and we i try to post them whenever i see something different that i'm doing I'll give it a try to get a video going on it. So, uh, yeah, just uh, I, I noticed in my um, sometimes I look at all the little details that YouTube sends me, and it says that like 96% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. I'm like, I mean, that's fine, but it, usually they find them by YouTube. But if, if you uh, want more of these videos, you want to be notified, then just hit that button and you get notified anytime I put something up. So, that is all, and we'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, get to work.